Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. A stock split is basically just a way for a company to make it easier for investors to buy its shares. So let's imagine a company started by these three brothers here, the three little pigs, and they decide to open a brick factory for perhaps obvious reasons. Anyway, the factory is valued at $300,000. And because it's a three-way split, they each own a third of the company, they each own one share of $100,000 each. Now one day, Bert decides that he wants to put a mud pool in the back of his house, and it's gonna cost him $50,000. But he hasn't got any money, so he decides he wants to sell half of his stake in the company. But you can't sell half of a share, right? And that share besides is very, very expensive. So his brothers say, I tell you what, we'll help you out. Why don't we do a stock split? We'll split our stock 10 to one. And that means that for every share that we have now, we get 10 shares. So it means now, of course, they've got 10 shares each, each of which is worth $10,000. So now it's easy for Bert to sell five of those shares and make the $50,000 that he needs to build his mud pool. And you can see that a stock split doesn't dilute the value of your share of the company. Each of them still owns a third of the company, but they've got 10 shares each. The other thing it does is it drives down the cost of those shares, the individual cost. And that can make it much easier for an investor to buy those shares. And of course, that can mean that your shares get a bump in the market, that they pop up. Now, a company may decide to split its stock specifically to give its shares a bit of a juicing in the market. If it does that, though, that's a, that's a really bad idea because there's nothing to say that your shares are going to move up after the split. They could actually move down. And if that happens, you maybe got a million shares at, which are trading at a much smaller price, and that price is getting smaller all the time. And that can really freak investors out, leaving investors, the company, and everybody involved very badly needing a drink. Uh -huh.